Hi there. Hey, everybody. Hi, welcome to today's feature spotlight. Thanks so much for joining. All right, well, I hope everybody's having a wonderful day today. My name is Abby, if we haven't met before, I'm on the Mango Mint team. I'm super excited to have you join today's feature spotlight. So today we're gonna to be covering integrated forms. And so, you know, no matter what type of business you have, whether you own or you manage a hair salon, maybe you have a med spa um, or a massage practice, or maybe something else, this webinar is going to show you how easy um, you can collect and organize client information all within Mango Mint using our integrated forms. So really excited to talk about forms with you all today. As usual, if you have any questions that come up, feel free to drop your questions in the chat. I'll try to get to as many as I can. And then of course, anything that we don't have time for, we will be able to follow up with you after the webinar as well. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start sharing my screen and we're just gonna jump right into this demo of integrated forms. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, and let me know if anybody cannot see my Mango Mint screen here. I'm sharing it now. Okay, so this is uh, the calendar view, but before we dive too deep into integrated forms, I wanna just talk about, you know, what are the different use cases for integrated forms? Um, and how do you use them in Mango Mint? Why would you wanna be using these for your salon or spa? So you can use our integrated forms to collect and securely store and organize all of your client information directly inside Mango Mint. So just um, some different examples of forms would be, maybe you have intake forms that you want clients to fill out before their appointment. Uh, maybe you wanna have people fill out waivers, other types of questionnaires, um, you know, patient charting, consent forms, soap notes, all types of different things like that. You can use our custom forms for any of those use cases. So they're fully customizable and I'll show you guys how all of that works. And also something else that I wanna point out here too is that our forms, they work on desktop of course, but you can also use our forms on your tablet or you know, we know that so many of you are using Mango Mint on your mobile device. So it works on both um, our iPhone and Android mobile apps as well. So whatever type of device you're using, our integrated forms will work for all of those different types of devices. So I kind of want to talk more too about what are the common use cases for using integrated forms. So we really have three really common use cases for forms. So the first one, and definitely one um, that is, I would say one of the most popular use cases would be to gather information from your clients. So again, these are forms that you have clients fill out typically before the appointment. Um, the second use case would be, you know, you want to set up forms that are used only by your internal staff. So this could be used for different things such as logging treatment and soap notes, um, again, client charting, maybe you have a med spa, things like that, but you have certain forms that you only want internal staff members to fill out. And then the third use case that we can support with integrated forms is we also give you the ability to create external forms that you can place on your website. Um, so these are typically placed on your website, but you can use them in other places as well. So one example of this, and I'll actually show you this later in the webinar, but maybe you have a hair salon and you actually want clients to fill out a hair extension application before they book a service with you. Or maybe you want to send out a post-service uh, survey, something like that to clients. So there's a lot of different fun use cases for external forms as well. And so we can support all of those three use cases um, with our custom forms, as well as other ones as well. They're completely customizable, as I mentioned. Um, and something else that's important to point out too is that if you're listening right now, and if you have a med spa, you know, an aesthetic clinic or another related type of business that does require HIPAA compliance, we have you totally covered with our forms. So our integrated forms are fully HIPAA compliant um, and definitely let us know if you need HIPAA compliant for your business and we'll help guide you through that process. 
So our forms are so great as well because you don't have to rely on using other types of form software. You know, you don't have to go to another third party forms provider. We can handle all of your form needs directly inside of Mango Mint and you can keep all the information in the same place. So it's going to be super easy for you. Okay, so now I'm just going to dive in and actually show you guys how to actually build a custom form. Um, so this is going to be a form that's filled out by your clients. So we are just going to go ahead and jump over and show you how to do that. Right now I'm in the calendar, but what we're going to do now is we're just going to go over here to settings and then we're just going to scroll down here and you're going to see um, this says form templates. Um, create custom forms to gather important client information. So we are going to go ahead and click on that. And this is now taking us to our form templates, kind of this is our setup area where we're going to manage and edit all of our different forms right here. So this is kind of your forms home base when you wanna go and actually create new forms or edit ones that you have already. Um, and I love this because our forms can really be built in minutes or even seconds in some cases. They're so easy to build. Um, you don't need to have do any coding or any type of complicated setup. There's none of that involved. Um, I'll actually show you how you can use our drag and drop editor. Um, it's going to be super easy to create these and we can even see it update in real time as well. So first, I'm going to go ahead and create a facial intake form. So all we need to do here is click on add form template and then we're just going to go ahead and give it a name so i'm going to call this the facial intake form and then you could give it an optional description if you want to for now i'll just leave that blank and then i'm just going to go ahead and create it okay so now that we've created that we do need to fill out some of the initial details for this form um, so there's a few different things we want to kind of consider here as we're building the form so on this details tab, you can see here that we need to decide who is going to fill out this form. So you can see we have three options here. We kind of talk through these different use cases. Um, we can have clients fill it out, staff members or anyone. It could be that external form that we talked about. In this example, I'm going to have clients who book an appointment. They're going to fill out this facial intake form. So I'm going to go ahead and click this. And then once we choose that, you can see that we have a couple more selections that we need to make here. So the next one is how often do clients need to fill it out? So they can fill out every time they book an appointment or they can fill it out only once for each client. Um, in this example, I'm going to have people fill it out every single time they book an appointment. And then the last one you do need to choose here is what appointment is it for? So this is really nice because we give you guys total control in terms of when these forms are sent out. So you can have it sent out for all appointments. That'll be regardless of which service is booked or you can have this sent out only for appointments with specific services. So I'm actually gonna click this one because we wanna send, set, uh, send this form only when people select um, and book our facials. So what we're gonna do is actually click where it says all services and categories. You can just add an entire category here and I'm just gonna start typing facials and then add facials right here. And if you wanted, you could even have this sent only for specific services within that category as well. So you could definitely do that. Um, but for this one, I'm just gonna have this sent out every time somebody books any type of facial appointment at the Seven Lakes Salon or Spa. Okay, so we have that set up. And now we're actually gonna get into building our form fields. Um, so we're gonna go here and just click on form fields. There we go. And so this is now where we can start building our actual form. And this is where I told you, you know, I mentioned before we have this really easy drag and drop editor. It's super easy to just select these fields and start building the form. So we're just going to go through and start building these. Um, I'm going to add the first field, which will be first and last name. So we're going to click that and we are going to go ahead and require that field. So we'll save that. And then we're going to add another form field. Um, so now I would like to add email and go ahead and there's some options you can choose here if you want to. I'm just going to leave those at their default settings and go ahead and save and then add another field here. And then for this one, I am going to now add a phone number and we're going to save that. 
And then I'm going to add a couple more here as well. So now I actually, I want to add one for skin concerns. So we want to find out, you know, what concerns do people have? Why are they booking their facial appointment? What are some skin concerns that they may be dealing with at that time? So for this one, I'm actually going to select the drop down field and I'm just going to click that. And then for the field label, I'm just going to ask them, you know, what are your primary facial concerns? So we'll just add that in here. And I've just copy pasted that in just to save a little bit of time for our demo. And then I just going to start um, adding the available options now. So we can add acne, we'll do wrinkles, add another one here, maybe too oily or too dry. So we just add that. And then the last one will be redness. Okay, and we are going to require this field as well. So we'll just enable that toggle. And then we're going to save that. So now we have set up that drop down field and there's just a couple more we want to add. And now I'm going to add another drop down. Let's say that you also want to ask about their allergies. Um, so this is a really common one to add in, in these types of forms. So we're just going to make our label say allergies. And then we're just going to add our available options here. So we'll say nuts. Maybe we'll do essential oils and then gluten, latex, and those will be our four options that we'll add. And we're going to require that field. And then we'll go ahead and save it. And then also um, something else to consider here is a lot of people, they like to show their cancellation policy directly in the form. So it's really nice to have that. You can have that, you know, really visible for clients as they're filling out this form when they're booking their appointment. Um, and you can kind of have all the details right there and you can even have fields where they have to agree to the policy. And so I'm going to add another form field here. And this is going to be a section title. And we're just going to call this cancellation policy. And then we'll go ahead and save that. And then now I'm going to add some policy details. And so you can see here we have this one. It says layout text block. So we're going to use this here. And then I've saved the policy here. I'm just grabbing this. I already had it on hand just to make it a bit faster for us. And so we want to let them know, you know, if appointments are canceled or rescheduled within 24 hours of the appointment uh, start time, we're going to charge 50% of the service total. So you can put any type of text there that you want to. You could even link out to something else if you wanted to. So we'll go ahead and save that. And then we're almost done with this form. There's another couple fields I want to add. Um, I want people to actually read that cancellation policy and then agree to it. So what I'm going to do is add a form field and we have actually a toggle that we can use. So we're going to click that field. And so this will display a toggle that can either be turned on or off. And so, and it'll look just like that. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say the toggle text will say something like, I understand and I agree to the cancellation policy. So we'll just put that there. And so they'll have to look at that and then, you know, agree to that. And we are going to require that. So then we'll save it. And then the last thing we want to do is we want to add a signature field. So this is a really common field to add as well. So we're going to go here and then you can see we have a dedicated field just for signature. So we'll just go ahead and add that. Um, we are going to just leave the label as signature and then we are going to require the field as well. That is the default setting. And then we'll go ahead and save it. So there we go. Um, you can see how fast we added all of these different fields. I will point out too, this is quite a few fields. Um, you know, I definitely recommend try to strike the right balance there. You don't want to have too many fields that might make people a little bit less likely to want to fill it out. They might feel a little bit overwhelmed if they see, you know, 20 or 30 questions, for example. Um, so definitely, you know, strike the right balance between getting all of the necessary information that you need, but without making the form uh, too extensive and, um, you know, taking too long for your clients to fill out. So that's definitely something you kind of have to play around with to, to strike the right balance on that. And something else to point out too, right before we preview it, is I want to show you guys just how easy it is to reorder these fields if you want to. 
So you can see here, let's say, for example, you know, I realized, oh, I'd actually rather first ask about allergies um, before I ask about facial concerns. So it's actually super easy to reorder. Um, so you don't need to start over anything like that. All you need to do is go up here and click reorder. And then you'll see this changes here. And now I have a little grabber and I can grab these and move them around. And so what I can do is I can actually grab allergies, for example, and move it up here. And you can just kind of move it. Um, and then once you let go, it'll just drop it in the new place. So super easy to do that. Um, I've now reordered it how I want to. I'm just going to click done. And now that's reordered. So love to point out that little feature there. OK, so now we've added our form fields and I want to show you guys how it looks. So we have built into our form uh, builder right here. We have this preview button, which is so nice to use. You can see how your form is coming together. And so if you just click on preview, you can see here we have our really nice facial intake form here. It looks super professional, super slick. And then you can kind of go through, just scroll down and see how it's all looking together. Um, so you can start, you know, you can even play around with filling it out if you wanted to there just to see what that uh, inter interface would look like. And then you can see, you can click through. We have all of our allergies we've added. Um, we have the facial concerns, all of that. And then here's the cancellation policy. And I understand and agree to the cancellation policy. So definitely recommend using the preview as you build your forms and make sure they're, you know, looking how you want them to look and see if you need to make any adjustments or anything like that. Okay, so that's all we had to do to build our form. Super easy, but we're not quite done yet. There's one more step here, and this is something, um, you know, sometimes it's super easy to miss this step sometimes, but if you just scroll up to the top here, we actually need to activate our form still. So you can see right now it's still disabled, and you can actually see that it is disabled as well if you look over here on the left side. But what we're gonna do now is go ahead and enable it. So all you need to do is just click Enable, and then this will give us kind of a message about what's going to happen once we enable it. You know, it's going to be sent out in automated messages. Um, the form will be requested after online booking, after express booking. And of course, once it's enabled, you'll be able to use it on the calendar as well. And so I'm going to go ahead and just confirm that. And now we can see that it is enabled. So if we look back here on the left side, we can see that the facial intake form is now enabled. So definitely don't um, miss that step. It's really easy to do that sometimes, but once you get in the habit of making forms, you'll remember that step really easily. Okay, so next I wanna show you guys what does this actually look like when we book an appointment on the calendar. So let's go ahead and go over there and we're actually going to build, um, well, now that we've built this form, I'm gonna actually book a facial and show you guys just what that looks like. Okay, so now I'm gonna jump over to my calendar here we go. So here is the calendar view. And so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to book an appointment um, for our client. We have Sarah Smith who wants to come in. So I'm just going to click right here and I'm going to search for Sarah. And then we have her right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and select the service. So I'm going to go ahead and book um, a facial appointment for her. So let's just say she wants to come in for a signature facial. So we'll go ahead and book that. And then we're going to go ahead and book the appointment. Okay, so now I do want to point out a couple of things that have happened now that we booked that appointment for Sarah. Um, so we have the signature facial and what you guys will notice here is you can see that right here, um, there's this little pen icon here on the appointment booking on the calendar. So that indicates that this specific service actually requires one or more forms to be filled out. So we have that nice indicator there on the calendar. And then also, if you click here onto this um, appointment here on the calendar, and you kind of scroll down here, you can also see um, that we do have forms now that are not filled out. So now you can see that we do have the facial intake form. It says the form is not yet submitted. Um, so we kind of give you guys a couple of different visual indicators on the calendar to let you know that there is a form that needs to be filled out. So now um, I'm going to go ahead and fill out this form. I'm pretending to be the client in this case, obviously, Sarah Smith, but I've actually received um, my booking confirmation and I do have an email in my inbox that says, here's your booking information and form requested. So as the client, I know that I do need to fill that out. And so I'm just going to go ahead and complete that form real quick and I'll show you guys what this looks like. 
Okay, just add in a couple details real quick, just filling out those fields. Okay, so I, as the client, I just filled out that facial intake form. And so what you guys are actually gonna notice is if we look back here on the calendar, we can now see that that pen icon is no longer showing here on the calendar. So that has been removed. And if you also look over onto the right side, you can see that we now have a green checkbox next to the form to indicate um, that that form was completed and it was filled out. Um, and also what we can do is I can actually open this to see how it looks. So I can open that and I can see all of the information that Sarah Smith just submitted in the form signature. Um, you can see she's got, you know, allergic to essential oils. She's concerned about acne. Um, so you can see that as well. And something else that you can see as well is that if I go here and click on Sarah and I look at her client details, I can also go here and I can look on our client timeline and I can also check out her form submission that way as well. So if I go here, click on forms, then you'll see that there was a form submission just now um, today, August 15th. So you can see that submission. Um, you can see the timeline. You can see that she submitted some other forms in the past. So you can go and check those out and you can click on show details, of course, if you want to open that and see all of the form information that was submitted. So super easy to navigate all of that. Okay. And so you guys might be wondering too, you know, how do you guys, how do we ensure that our clients are filling out the form? Um, and we can talk a little bit more about how it's appearing from the client perspective. You know, I just mentioned that I got an email in my inbox, letting me know that I had to, you know, fill out the form for this appointment I had booked as the client um, in this example. And so the way that's actually working is that our Mango Mint forms are automatically sent out to clients via our automated messages. And so I'm going to show you guys actually what that looks like and how you can kind of customize some of that. So if you just go over here to settings, click on that, and then we're actually going to go here to automated messages. So we'll go ahead and click this. And then um, what we can do now that we're in our automated messages kind of home base here, you can go to the appointment book tab right here. And so we do have the automated um, email reminder that is sent immediately when the appointment is booked. And so this email reminder will actually have the link to fill out the form. And I can show you guys a preview of what that looks like. If we click here, it says email to client with appointment info. We'll just go ahead and click here just to show you guys that preview of what that looks like. So this is kind of an example here. And of course you could send a test if you wanted to test it out, see how that looks. And what you guys will notice is in the subject line, it says form requested, which is what I mentioned when I got that email, I saw that as well to kind of indicate, oh, you know, as a client, there's some action I need to take here. I'm not quite done getting ready for my appointment yet. I do need to fill out this form. And then if you scroll down here, you can see that it says, please fill out the following form before your appointment, a nice big button where they can click to complete the form. Um, so it's such a really nice seamless process on the client's end um, and it looks really slick. And then we're gonna just X that out. And then also, if you want to, you can also choose to have this reminder to fill out the form um, in an SMS and a text message as well. So you can just click on here and you can see that in the text message to the client with appointment info, there is this toggle to include form request. So you could turn that off if you don't want to send it, but if you do want to have that included, um, I would recommend doing it. You can include form request and then right here, it'll say, please complete the following form before your appointment. So you can see how that would look as well. There you go. And some um, a question that has come in too is what if you have multiple forms that they need to complete for the service? Um, so, you know, we get this question a lot, you know, you might be wondering, okay, what if I have like two or three forms they need to fill out for one service? Are they going to get sent a ton of different emails, you know, a separate email for every form they need to fill out? 
um, or what does that look like? And we actually, we are not going to send out separate emails for all of those. It's a super seamless process. And on the client's end, um, it'll, it'll all come in that single email. And so what it'll, it'll look like is when they're actually in their email, um, it'll say, there'll be that button and it will say complete forms. It'll be plural. So they'll know, okay, I have multiple forms. And then they just click that and it just takes them through it really seamlessly. So they'll fill out one form and then it'll say, okay, you know, here's another form you need to fill out. And they'll just go through and it happens all right there in one screen. So it's definitely not a problem if you need to require, say, two or three forms um, for a single service. That definitely comes up sometimes. Okay, so also something else I want to talk about is, you know, what if the client is ignoring the emails that you're sending and the text that you're sending here? Um, so, you know, they don't fill it out when their appointment is booked. Um, you know, let's say, for example, that you've now gotten to the day of the appointment, um, you know, your front desk staff, let's say they're checking out the appointments on the books for that day. And they happen to notice that one of the clients has not filled out the required form yet. So this definitely happens all the time. Um, no worries. We've thought of a lot of different ways to help handle this. And so we made it really easy to remind the client again. So actually, I'll show you guys how to do that. If we just go over here to calendar, um, what we can do here is let's just go ahead and let's say that, um, let me pick a different one here. Let me just add another facial appointment. And I'll show you guys how to remind clients. Okay, so let's say, for example, that Erica Medina, she's coming in for her custom facial, um, but she hasn't yet filled out her facial intake form. So you can see here, you're looking, it still says form is not submitted. You can still see that pen icon there. So all you actually need to do is you can click here, um, right on the appointment. And then if you go here to this form, a uh, little right here on the right-hand panel, just click on these three dots and you can click on send request. And so this will actually send them um, another form request. You can send a text message with the link to fill out the form. And so let's say, for example, um, that's their phone number. You could also update that if there's a different phone number they'd rather use. Um, something else, you can send that out and just remind them to fill out the form. So that's super easy to do. And also, there's a couple other options, too. Um, you could send that reminder before they've even come into your salon or spa if you notice that they still have not filled out the form maybe it's been a couple of days they still haven't filled it out also what you can do is once they actually get inside of your business they're you know ready to come to their appointment um, if they're already there you can just use that remind feature to send it right there to their phone while they're there waiting and say hey you know while you're waiting i noticed you didn't complete this form yet can you please just take a couple quick minutes to fill that out so you can easily do that also, another thing, probably a little bit less popular of an option, but um, when they come in, you could even pull this up here and you could just go ahead and click fill out and then you could hand them the tablet, for example, and have them fill it out on the tablet. Or also um, you could have a staff member, you know, maybe you have a front desk staff member, they're sitting on the computer and so they could actually work with the client and fill out the form on their behalf and kind of guide them through the questions. Um, so that's another option for how to handle those clients who, you know, haven't yet filled out the forms. Okay, so a couple more things to go through before we wrap up this web webinar. Um, so we've talked about setting up a form um, that your clients fill out, but there's another, you know, really super common use case, which is that you want to set up internal staff forms that only your staff members fill out. And so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go back to settings and I'm going to go to form templates again. And so again, this is where we manage all those templates as we were here previously. Um, so let's just look at an example form that I've already built out. Um, let's say, for example, that we have a massage practice and we want the staff to fill out soap notes after every single massage service. And so I've actually already created um, this uh, staff soap notes form right here. So if we just click on that. You can see here, this is something I've set up previously, just in the interest of time, just to show you guys, you know, give you more ideas for how you can use internal forms in your business. And so we have this set up here. Um, we can go through the details tab. You would need to still, um, for who fills out this form, you would need to, instead of clicking clients who book an appointment, you would want to choose staff members instead. 
And so you would, I have that already selected. And then how often does it need to be filled out? We are having them fill it out for every single appointment. And then which appointments is it for? So for this one, I only want the soap notes to be filled out when massages are, uh, when we have people in for massages. So I, for this one, I selected only for appointments with specific services, and then it's for all services in the categories. So that then I selected massages. And then we can check out the form fields that we've set up here. So we'll just click on that. And so you can see, this is just a pretty standard uh, SOAP notes form. We have the first and last name. We've got a field for subjective, objective, assessment, plan, and additional notes as well. And then I'm just gonna show you guys a preview of what this looks like. So click on preview, and there we can see our staff SOAP notes form. And I've even added, if you want to go into the fields, you can add this placeholder text as well. Um, which is really nice to kind of remind the staff as they're going through it of what they need to put in each field just as a little bit of a reminder um so yeah so that's super easy to set up it only took me a couple minutes to create that um, and you could easily see how i could create a bunch of different internal forms um, that are similar to this one so it's super easy to do and then what i want to also show you guys is what this looks like on the calendar when we want to have the staff members fill out these soap notes so let's go ahead and go back to our calendar. We're gonna go here. And then for this one, um, we have this sports massage, for example. So we already have this sports massage that was uh, booked previously for Tyler Lee. And so you can already see here, because I set up um, that I require this form whenever massages are booked. Um, so you can see here, it says staff soap notes. And so if I was a staff member, let's say that Tyler has now finished his appointment, um, I'm the staff member kind of wrapping up. I'm just gonna go and click on here and just click on fill out. And then as a staff member, I would just go through, you know, symptoms and concerns, say pain and shoulder, um, you know, and then continue to go through, right? The objective, the assessment, um, you know, the plan. We'll say massage, can't spell today, <laughs> two times a monthly for three months, then reassess, something like that. And so you would just continue uh, continue to put information here. Um, and then you would just go through, add some notes. We're just doing this as an example. Of course, you would put more accurate information in there. And then you just submit it. And then it is submitted there. And you can see, I'll show you guys how to view the form submissions as well. So super easy to do that as a staff member. Um, and also something to point out too, is that you can also do this really easily from your mobile phone. So we know that a ton of our, um, you know, people that are using Mango Mint, a lot of your service providers, for example, we know that um, they're using phones instead. You know, a lot of them are not using a front desk computer. They're using their phones. And so you can easily fill that out directly from the phone as well. Um, so super easy to do. And again, you know, just want to reiterate too, um, if you require HIPAA compliant forms, we have you covered. Um, this is especially a, a specific use case where we have a lot of needs for HIPAA compliance is, and when you're using these internal forms, um, we work with a ton of med spas, you know, aesthetics clinics, other types of businesses, you're typically handling sensitive client information. Um, and a lot of you are required to kind of, uh, follow HIPAA guidelines. And so let us know if you he need HIPAA compliance, we'll definitely guide you through that process. Um, but definitely just want to, you know, reiterate that our forms are really secure and HIPAA compliant, um, if you need to handle that really sensitive data. So that is kind of how to set up and use uh, internal staff forms as well. And then there's one more use case I wanna show you guys before we wrap up, which is how can you guys set up external forms? So another great use case for our forms. I will say that external forms is a little bit of a less common use case than the first two we talked about, but it's still really super valuable when you need that. Um, so typically external forms, they're gonna live on your website. That's the most common. We see people using them on their website um, but you could also put them in your marketing emails. You can put the links to them right in those emails. Um, you could also set that up in automated messages. Um, for example, we have that sale closed email, um, that thank you email that can be sent out after the sale to clients. So you could link it in there as well. So definitely some different options for how you'd want to use external forms.
So let me show you guys one that I've already made. So let's go ahead and go to settings and then we'll go ahead and go back to form templates. And then what I have here is I have this pre-created form I've already set up. This is the hair extension application form. Um, so let's say, for example, that we have a hair salon. We have the Seven Lakes Salon and Spa here, and they want to see if a potential client is a good fit before they actually book the appointment. Um, you know, you want to get that information before they even book consultation, before they spend any money at your salon. Um, so you can actually set up this form and it will live on your website and you can gather really key information. So if we just click on here, you can see I have built out my hair extension application. And for this one, for who fills out the form, this is for anybody. So anyone, this is an external form, and it says a link to this form can be shared publicly, for example, on your website, as we talked about. And then we have the link for sharing right here. Um, so then you can just grab that and put it wherever you need to. Okay. And so I also, of course, want to show you the form fields here. So I have a ton of different form fields I've already added here. And again, as I said before, you know, find the right balance here. This form is getting pretty lengthy. So we would maybe want to think about, you know, are there any, do we really need to have all of these fields? Um, but just something to keep in mind as you guys are building your forms. Um, so it just kind of goes through all the key information. You know, are you wearing hair extensions? How long have you been wearing them? What's your hair type? Um, you know, what, what, describes your natural hair, what is your hair length, what types of, you know, look are you going for, um, have you received these in the past, all that type of stuff, do you color your hair, so we're kind of covering all of our bases there, and then I can preview it, and here we go, so now we can see this preview of what our form looks like, and then I'm also going to show you guys what this actually looks like when we click on that link, because if you go back here in the details, as you'll recall, we have this link for sharing, and so I can just click on that. And then what I'm gonna do now is let me um, go ahead and make sure I'm sharing the right tabs. So you guys can see this. So I'll switch real quick to the other one. Okay, so I think you guys can see my screen now. And so, this is how the hair extension application looks when you click that link, um, the public link for sharing. And so it looks really nice. You guys can see how professional this looks. It's also using our custom branding that we've added. Um, so it looks, you know, really fits nicely with your marketing website, things like that. Um, and it, clients can just go through or prospects as well. This is not just for clients. It's for anybody um, who you send this link to. So if it's living on your website, you could have prospects who are maybe interested in your services. They can fill this out as well. All right. I have just a couple more things to go through real quick and then we'll wrap it up. So let me go ahead and switch back to my other screen. Okay. Um, so now, now that we've kind of gone through all of those different use cases, I also want to show you guys, well, actually real quick before we leave this external form, one more thing I wanted to show you guys is, you know, how are you going to be notified when people actually submit that external form? Um, so that's a question we get a lot as well is, okay, so I have this form living on my website. How is my staff going to know when people are filling that out? Like, do I have to go check it manually? Um, so we make that totally automated. So it's super easy. So you can actually handle that also with our automated messages that we went to before. So let's go ahead and go back there now. And so if you just click on settings, we are now going to go back to automated messages. So click on that. And then instead of going to appointment booked, we're actually going to click on the form submitted tab. And so if you go to this one, this is where you can kind of customize your settings for um, these internal emails that will be sent out whenever a form is submitted. And so you can send an internal notification to a specific email address. So if we just click on this, you can actually see here that we can um, we have it set up for different locations, for example, um, and you can edit this. So if you want, I just have my email for all of these. But if you wanted to have different contacts, you know, maybe you have one staff member who works at the main location that you want to be notified about form submissions. And then you have a different staff member who works at the Shoreline Avenue location. Um, so they could be notified. So you can put um, multiple e email addresses if you want here too, just separate them by commas. 
And then also for the external forms, you can see here we have a specific field where you can have somebody be notified specifically when external forms are filled out as well. And so for that hair extension application um, form, you know, for that example, say that's living on our website, we have this set up. So now anybody, any time uh, anybody fills that out, the, then I will get a notification. So definitely um, play around with those and make sure you set up your internal notifications so you can be notified as soon as people submit forms. Okay, and then before we close out, I also wanna make sure I show you guys how to view all of your completed forms. So what we're gonna do now is actually go to the top navigation here and just uh, click on more, and then you'll see we have this form submissions menu item. So just go ahead and click on that. And so this has all of the form submissions listed in one spot. Um, so it's really nice. You can go through, you can click through these, you know, take a look, click on any of these and look at all the form information. But then something else I love to point out as well is if you click here on options, you can actually go here and you can filter by form template. Um, so this is really nice. Let's say, for example, you only want to look at staff soap notes. You can click that and then click apply, and then you'll only see the staff SOAP notes forms that were submitted. Or you can go through, you know, change that. Maybe you only wanna see the facial intake form. You can look at it that way. And then also you can filter it by date. So that's really nice as well. Um, so if you want to go and filter forms by a specific date, you know, maybe the ones over the last two weeks, the ones over the last um, month, whatever it may be, or just for a certain day, keep it really clean. You only want to see forms on that day. You can easily filter that. So that's super easy to do as well. So definitely take a look at that um, and let us know if you have any questions about viewing your form submissions. All right, let me just check and see if we've had other questions come in. Let's see. Oh, this is a great question. Okay, we do have a question that's come in. Um, somebody is asking, can we use Mango Mint's integrated forms instead of Google Forms? So that's a really good question. Um, thank you for asking that. So yes, you definitely can use that. You can use this to replace Google Forms um, if you want to. We definitely recommend that. The reason that works is because um, you would need to use it with our webhooks feature, um, but using Mangoman with our webhooks feature and our forms, um, you can totally make that happen. Um, so a lot of people who are using Google Forms, typically you're often sending the data into a Google Sheet, for example. So what you can do is you could use a tool um, like Zapier is one we typically recommend. You can use that with our webhooks to collect the data from our forms that are native to Megomint. And then you can send all that information to a Google Sheet, for example, or send it somewhere else. Um, so let us know if you have any more questions about using forms with webhooks. We would definitely um, be happy to help you, you know, set that up and talk more with our support team about that. Um, so really you can replace most third-party software with our integrated forms. So that was a really good question, thank you. And then I do see another question too. Um, this is a really good one. So is there a limit to the amount of forms that can be sent out per month? Um, so no, there is no limit at all. You can send unlimited forms per month. We do not have any restrictions on that. Um, so thank you for that question. That was super good. Okay. Well, I think we have kind of gone through forms with everybody and hit all the highlights for our integrated forms. Um, so that'll wrap it up for today. Of course, if you have any questions about our integrated forms um, for your salon or spa, or you, you know, run into any questions as you're setting them up, definitely chat with our support team um, on our website and also check out our learning center. We have a ton of great forms uh, resources as well there. All right. Well, thanks for tuning in today. Bye, everybody. Have a good one.